Thanks, Dean, our son. Please, lads. Thrills. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Yeah. Little Carly Pilkington, little baldy mank, whinging little twat. How all are right. you? Yeah, all right. All right, yeah. What are you doing? Happy? Feeling a bit happier today? You look as full of, full of spunk, as they say in America. Yeah, I'm all right. Just a bit of a miserable day, though, isn't it? Yeah. A bit miserable. Yeah. Uh, walking in today, <laughs> right? Uh, do you know I walked through, like, the, uh, sort of the gay district of, of London and that? Right. Well, you don't walk, you mince, don't you? I'm well, just, just walking through on, on the way to work, and I'm always interested in their, their little shops and stuff, aren't they? Right. Loads of... <laughs> their little shops. That's no, no really shame, love. You want, if you want to go in and buy something, go in and buy something. I'm just having a look at, you know, looking in the windows and stuff. Um, little postcard, just near the near the entrance, yeah. that's meant to tease people in, to make people go, that sounds good, I'll nip in, right? <laughs> Little postcard, free butt plugs <laughs> with every sale. <laughs> <laughs> that's great! How did we get from 5p off milk yeah. to free butt plugs with every sale? Wow. What society come to? Well, it's because we're liberated, Rick. Yeah. You know, it's an open society. What did you buy to get them? You didn't buy- no, I didn't, I didn't, uh, but what, what's the purpose? <laughs> <laughs> what of the poster or of butt plugs? Butt plugs, because I, I, I really, honestly, you don't... shove them up your ass, don't you? Woo! Slow down, bum. Shove oh. them up your bum. Yeah. But, but when is that? Just like when you're doing whatever, <laughs> doing stuff around the house. Or... <laughs> I think it's, is it to kind? Of, it's not to keep things out. Is it like you would use a plug in the sink to keep, you know, the water in the sink? <laughs> oh, if you're not gay. <laughs> like Get that, oh yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. I don't know. No I mean, entry. What is, it, what is it? I mean, I don't understand what they're I don't know. I, I assume it either feels good or, or are they, <laughs> well, I've got to be careful here, or are they sort of like, breaking it in? Right, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, it's like a shoehorn. Sure. <laughs> or, or, or yeah. you know, It's or like the... when you stick, uh, paper in your <laughs> shoes if they're a bit uh, yeah. tight. Or, or, um, or those people, those, um, people who sort of like put little bits of wood in their lips, sure. and then as soon they've got big plates in their lips. Yeah, yeah. Same yeah. as the butt plug. It means <laughs> you can, you know, yeah. you're ready for anything. I don't know, do I? <laughs> the comes face! <laughs> well, if you know what butt plugs are used for, then what <laughs> I get in touch. <laughs> Ricky Dr. Vays, at what do you think? If there's any- I can't th believe we're already on this subject. How I know. Is it? It's five I know. One and we're and I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say then, if there's any people who use butt plugs, and, and I was thinking that Carl would have said, well they're, they're not up yet. Yeah. Because they go out late. No, but- But what? Is it, we're award winning people, we've, we've yes. written a TV Not on show, radio though. Respected. Not on radio, we're rubbish on radio. I know, we've got what? nothing to lose. But I always say to you, Steve, that I like educating people on that. Now, the way I say it, see it is, I didn't know what they were. Mm. Um, Let's phone to go. Tell them what now about butt plugs. All right, we'll, we'll get. No, no, get them on. on. Get them on. Get, ask them. No, because they might say something dodgy. Oh, but, yeah. Whereas, <laughs> yeah, what have we yeah. just been doing? Just take a chance. Take a chance and tell them not to swear. Well, you tell them. Okay. Right, Steve. I've got my headphones on. Hello, who's there? Oh, my name. Hold on. Who, sorry? Nicholas. Nicholas, hello, mate. Uh, you're not going to swear, are you? No, I'm not going to swear. Keep it clean. Oh, yeah. Well. Keep them keen. Um, what, uh, what, what were you call calling about? I'm phoning about your plugs. About, pl m well, not my plugs, but sure, plugs <laughs> in general. What, uh, do you know much about them? No, Are you a no, plug I'm user yourself? No, I'm just thinking if maybe you've got some gay friends and you're spending the night at their place, you might want to use one. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> what, you mean experiment with them, or? No, so you can make sure they're not going to do anything while you're asleep. Do you, right. could, I, could I suggest, could I suggest, uh, you know, just lock the door? I mean, that is easier to can me. I, can I make a bigger suggestion? That's probably the most homophobic thing we've had said on the show today. <laughs> Thanks very much for your call. <laughs> right, okay, yeah. good. Well, that's why we shouldn't put people on the line. Just, you know, without checking first. I think Carl's made a good point. That's the caliber of listener we've got. <laughs> God gave rock and roll to ya by Kiss on XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant. I'm bloody Edge glad Club. he did, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, I am. Cheers. Carl Pilkington's with us as well. He's learned some stuff while well, uh, the song's been on. He's had a couple of calls. One from a bloke, one from a woman who worked at a sex shop, and you learned quite a lot. I can see your eyes widening. What have you learned then about butt plugs? I haven't really learned anything. I don't. I still don't understand. Yes, it. you have. No, but she's just, the woman was just saying, you know, it spices things up a bit. Yeah. Well, what do you need to do that for? The end result is always the same, I think. <laughs> so why complicate it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? 
Are you with me though? <laughs> These people who say, you know, they do stuff all night, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> That's why I like short stories and that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. So. Excellent. If I wish people could see what he looks like when he's talking yeah. like it. Oh, in fact, he's in heat next week, Steve. Right. Um, is yeah, yeah, they put a picture of him, they could do the grab off the, the DVD, mm -hmm. and he's behind the scenes, and, uh, he's got his little picture in heat, and he right. hates it, don't you? Well, I'm a bit annoyed, because I didn't want it in. <laughs> Why are you worried? Just don't want people knowing, knowing what, what like. I look like and that. Why? Were you on the DVD? Yeah, but... It's to public domain, anyone can take it off there and put it on the paper oh. now. But, I, but that's extras on a DVD, and I'm just thinking not that many people, if they watch it they won't take it in, stuff like that. What are you worried about then? Just, I don't, there's like me brother and sister and stuff who I don't see anymore, if they know what I look like now they might- What do you mean if they know what you look like now? They've just got to imagine little Carl Pilkington with no hair. No, I've, I've changed quite a lot because I work hard, don't I, so I've aged quite badly. Right. <laughs> and I'm just thinking if they- You just have the hair of a Chinaman, But yeah. sorry, why- why is it a problem for your brother and sister to see you and to Because I don't see them anymore, do I? And they'll come out of the woodwork now. What, what? They're after what? your millions. No, no, so they're sitting at home, they're looking at heat, and there goes Carl, and goes, oh, Carl's my brother- my brother- my brother, right? oh, maybe I'll go and see him. I don't- I don't want the hassle. But they could find out where you are what's in hassle? What's the hassle then? It's just hassle of- Having friends and family and that. <laughs> you mean this, don't you? Yeah, it's you know that I'm not not into be you know having. But if either that. your brother or your sister came to your door, would you not welcome in it? Welcome them in and give them a cup of tea. Do you know what? He bumped into his sister right after about seven years in a car park somewhere, right? And she went, "Oh, I got a picture of my my new kid. Do you want to see it?" He went, "Not really. All kids look the same." And she went off in a half. Unbelievable. Yeah, but that's the problem though, isn't it? She she hadn't seen me for years and years. That's the way I am. I'm not like being rude or anything, I'm just says what comes in me head. Oh, don't give me that. Don't do that. I'm not rude. It's what comes in me head. That's a rubbish excuse. Not rude. Know me, know my ways. Mm. Yeah. Right, am I wrong then? Let's look at it. Let's look at the- what hey, it says. Eee! There's now Obama's cakes. Know <laughs> me, know my ways. Get out, you twiddle flunt. <laughs> what is that? What sort of philosophy is that? Know me, I'm rude and take it or leave it. I'm not it. being rude. You what? are being rude! What, saying that all babies look the same? It's your nephew! You didn't even bother to have a look, you could have been courteous yeah, and had a look at the picture. If it was a first, I'd say fair enough, but she's got loads of kids. Oh, fair enough. What kind of woman is she? <laughs> David Bowie, Lady Stardust from Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. I went to see him Tuesday, I know you went to see him Wednesday, Steve. Mm. I mean, obviously I'm a mental fan, but I think objectively that was one of the best shows I've ever seen. Yeah, it was brilliant. He's got the best band in the world, he, he, he played all the hits, it was an amazing show, the sound was incredible, he, I mean, do you know what I mean? Well, his just voice as well, I think people don't incredible. realize how incredible his voice is. It was absolutely- Soulful is the word I'd use. Brilliant, yeah, yeah, it was absolutely brilliant. You, don't, don't give it, you don't care, do you, Carl? We don't care about this. You never really go to gigs, do you, Carl? You, the live music experience is not something you enjoy. Uh, can be all right. I yeah, mean, I heard, go on. I heard that someone else who went to the Bowie thing said that he sort of messed with the songs a bit, which would annoy me. No, he didn't. Not really. Hardly said, at all. He said when they did um, Life on Mars, instead of saying something about uh, just just the tune of it, he messed with it so it wasn't the same. That that would annoy me. What would you well, do? Well, up but, I mean, we're not talk oh. we're not talking Bob Dylan or Sinatra. He, it's the, he had lived a little bit, I suppose, and it's his song, but it was, t you know, totally faithful. It was, he was singing the songs. What do you yeah. mean? Well, it's just, don't, don't mess with stuff. It's like if you went to see Titanic and then the boat didn't have a crash, you'd go, what, what are they doing? It's like, oh, Fonzie messing with it. Oh, well, he didn't, I mean, well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, he didn't mess with it. Relatively speaking, he did not mess with the songs. They were brilliant renditions. That would be a hell of a film, though, where Titanic <laughs> gets to New York. Absolutely fine. 